my video vlog. I'm gonna sound like Hog, but it's a vlog. Let's go! It's pretty much a given these days when it comes to movies that we the audience like a really intelligent movie that challenges our mind. You know, for example, the first Matrix movie. Now remember, the first one. I didn't care too much for the second one or third one that much, but you know, that was a, a movie with a great combination of a really good story followed by fantastic, mind-blowing special effects. Which also brings to mind another movie, Inception. And look how well that movie did. You know, it's a great thing when you can have movies like that that you can bend the fabrics of reality and make great fight scenes. You know what I mean? So, before there was the Matrix, there was this great movie called Dark City. If you haven't seen it yet, check it out. Trust me, rent it immediately and you do it now. Because I don't want to ruin it for you, so if you haven't seen Dark City, you probably want to get away from this. But anyway, uh, for those who have seen Dark City, now think about the potential for a sequel where you got a movie sitting there with all this great potential. You're just sitting on this treasure trove of infinite possibility. Now, if they were to do a sequel, there are so many different ways they could do it. You can either have it this way, uh, where the main character, John Murdoch, has, you know, taken over. He is the man. He has all this great power that can manipulate this massive ass ship, this big city wide ship where he can do whatever he wants. He's practically pretty much a god on that ship. Where either he can be corrupted by his own power, where someone else throughout the city has his ability and challenges him. They're tired of his him being a tyrant. You can do it that way, but that's usually the common way it's done. But another way you could do it is where he's the only one known to uh, manipulate the ship. You can have it like this, where he's he, he, he's, he knows he's getting older, he's not going to be around forever, so he searches through the ship, he has all these tests to see if other people have his potential, his ability to take over eventually one day. So he does all this training, he finds a couple of people with his potential, but in there lies the possibility. You can have it where either some of these people realizing their potential stay and are loyal to John Murdoch, where they just want to protect him. Meanwhile, these other few who know their potential totally want to take over the city and create it in their image. They want to rule with an iron fist. So you can have all these epic types of battle. The, the, the bottom line is this. The movie has so much potential. For another uh, uh, example, uh, the, the, the strangers, these alien beings, you know, they were doing all types of different uh, experimentations. Maybe, um, there is another level on the ship that they didn't know about where they had other experiments and maybe had some of their experiments in some type of long process of development where they pretty much look human but they still have this ability to, to uh, manipulate the machinery or whatnot and you know here you go with the main character John or some of his people he's trained to do battle with some of these things. The possibility is endless. So I'd like to hear some of your thoughts on this. I mean, I, you go strange. I know you had to see this movie. I'd like to hear any of your thoughts or ideas on it. And what else? Okay, another one. Paranormal activity. I know people are iffy about it. Some people like it. Some people totally hate it. I enjoy it because of the concept. I, I, I can watch paranormal activity and just put myself in the mindset of being these people. Anyway, moving on. If they were to do, which they're planning on doing a Paranormal Activity 3, personally, how I would like to see a Paranormal Activity 3 would probably be, I probably want to go from this approach where, you know, we got all these shows like Ghost Hunters, oh God, Ghost Adventures, and so on. Why not just do a movie where these types of groups are going to the houses where this stuff took place because all the events have been documented and you have these paranormal teams and therefore you got it covered while there are cameras all over the place while everything's constantly being filmed. So you can have a setup where these people summon that demon, they want to challenge that demon and 
open up the door for this thing to attack the camera crew slowly, building up, doing a whole bunch of crazy stuff. And personally, I want to see that damn demon get his ass kicked somehow. I don't care. Somebody throw, you know, let it possess somebody. Somebody throw holy water on it. I want that damn demon to feel some freaking pain. That thing's been getting away with too much damn shit for me. And I want that thing to know you don't mess with humans. That's just my opinion. But anyway, that, that, I, I'm getting way off subject because if you do a paranormal activity three, you can't make it corny. You got to make it real scary. And I don't think there's any other way around having the the excuse that people just feel like having cameras all over the place just for the sake of having cameras to film all these events. What perfect way to approach it now is actually use a paranormal team investigating stuff, staring up and messing with stuff, the un unknown stuff. They have no clue what they're doing and totally get the shit scared out of them or worse. Anyway, like to hear your thoughts. Uh, leave some comments if you like, trust me. I always read all comments. I read them all the time. I don't always get to comment back, but I generally read every comment. No, I, there's no general. I read every comment. Anyway, out.